This is how I study pharmacology factors influencing pain, um, physiological factors, age, particularly in infants and older adults. Young children have trouble understanding pain and the procedures that cause it. Toddlers and preschoolers are unable to recall explanations about pain or associate um, it with experiences that occur in various situations. Oh. Another thing about age is older adults have a greater likelihood of developing pathological conditions which are accompanied by pain, and pain potentially reduces mobility activities of daily, daily living, social activities, and activity tolerance in older adults. Fatigue plays another role in um, physiological factors in pain. Fatigue heightens the perception of pain and decreases coping mobilities. Neurological functions. A patient's neurological function influences the pain experienced directly for social factors, attention versus distraction. It's the same old, same old. Um, if you pay attention to it, then the pain um, increases. If you distract yourself from the pain, it decreases. Family and social support. Okay, so for family and social support, um... People in pain often depend on family members or close friends for support, assistance, or protection. Although pain still exists, the presence of family or friends can often make the pain experience less stressful. Um, the presence of parents is especially important for children experiencing pain. And for previous experience, um, when a patient has no experience with a painful condition, the first perception of it often impairs the ability to cope. So let's say someone had a surgery and it's the first surgery, they're afraid to move at all or to even breathe because they're afraid that the pain is not supposed to be at that level or they're not supposed to be feeling that much pain. On the top side, for previous experience, if a patient has experienced that pain over and over again, if they have an idea of it, so the patient is better prepared to take necessary actions to relieve the pain. For spiritual factors. Okay, so for spiritual factors, spirituality stretches beyond religion and includes an act of searching for meaning to situations in which one finds oneself. Questions they may ask themselves is, why has this happened to me? Why am I suffering? Spiritual pain goes beyond what we can see, so they will be asking, why has God done this to me? Is this suffering teaching me something? Like, is this karma? Um, other spir spiritual concerns include loss of independence and becoming a burden to the family. Psychological factors, anxiety. Um, anxiety plays another role in... Um, Factors influencing pain. Degree and quality of pain perceived by a patient influences the meaning of pain. Um, the relationship between pain and anxiety is complex. Um, if anxiety increases, the perception, the perception of pain um, increases also, and pain causes feelings of anxiety. For coping styles, I have internal loci of control perceive themselves, um, persons with internal loci of control perceive themselves as having control over events in their life and the outcomes such as pain. In contrast, persons with external loci of control perceive that other factors in their life, such as nurses, are responsible for the outcome of events. Patient controlled, um, patient controlled analgesia. PCA uses this concept. Uh, patients who self-administer small doses of intravenous pain medication using PCA during an acute episode successfully achieve pain control more quickly than those who rely on nurses to administer intermittent doses of pain medications. And for culture factors, uh, meaning of pain, culture beliefs and values affect how individuals cope with pain directly, individuals learn what to expect and accept by their culture. Um, this includes how to react to pain. So it would be good if you kind of know the background of your patient and the history of 
um, the ethnicity and the race that would be good, <laughs> um, culture effects, um, pain expressing, like for example, some Hispanics express pain dramatically while others don't at all and maybe the ones that do express pain dramatically are those that are um those that are that just came to the u.s 